Hi everybody and welcome to this abridged guide to choosing a therapeutic helmet. Which species of helmets are therapeutic? Helminthic therapy has been around for decades and out of about a million species of helmets in existence, four have been proven safe and beneficial. First is Necator americanus or NA for short otherwise known as the human hookworm. It lives in small intestine for about five years. NA is most effective in treating allergies, asthma, autoimmune disorders, Crohn's, fatigue, food intolerances, lupus, MS, and RA. Second are Trichuris trichuria ova, or TTO for short, also known as the human whipworm. It lives in the colon for about one and a half to two years. TTO is most commonly used to treat Crohn's and colitis. Third are Trichuris suis ova, or TSO for short, also known as the pig whipworm. They live in the large intestine for about two to three weeks. TSO are known to be most effective in treating autism, autoimmune disorders, allergies, Crohn's, colitis, lupus, and RA. And last but not least is Hymenolepsis diminutus cysticercoids, or HDC for short, also known as the rat tapeworm. They live in the small intestine for about two weeks. HDC are mostly used to treat allergies, asthma, autism, autoimmune disorders, and neuropsychiatric disorders. All helminths come in a clear liquid and are so small you can't even see them. HDC, TSO, and TTO are taken orally, and an A is put on a bandage on your skin. While non-commercial HDC only survive for a couple days after extraction, commercially prepared HTC can be kept in the fridge for a week or two. NA need to be kept warm and can survive for several months in their original packaging. However, both NA and HTC are best taken as soon as possible while they're at their strongest. TSO and TTO can be stored in the fridge for up to two years, which can be great for people who use both NA and TSO or NA and TTO. If they accidentally kill off their NA, they have an emergency supply of TSO or or TTO on hand until they can get a new order of NA. A lot of people do benefit from combining different species, but to start out, you're gonna to wanna to choose just one, at least for the first few months. Once your body's had a chance to adjust, you can look into adding another. It's not that there's a right helminth for any given condition. This information is based largely on patient feedback. So you might find a different helminth works better for you, but Based on what we know, both NA and TTO evolved along with humans over millennia and have adopted a symbiotic relationship where both benefit and neither is harmed. That's why NA and TTO can survive longer. TSO and HDC did not evolve along with humans, so even though they can't harm you, your body recognizes that they're foreign and will kill them off after just a couple weeks. If you choose HDC, you'll need to receive regular shipments in order to redose every two to four weeks. That could be tricky if you're traveling a lot or the postal system in your area isn't that great. If there's a delay, symptoms can return suddenly until your next dose. With TSO, you also take one dose every two weeks, but you can order a 10 pack. If TSO works for you, then after 10 or 20 doses, you shouldn't need any more for a while. But TSO is also the most expensive by far. Both NA and TTO don't have to be dosed as often because they live longer. Most people opt for once every three months. But with NA, you may have trouble getting a live dose in the winter because they don't do well in the cold. But if they're dead on arrival, most providers will reship. NA and TTO also die off more gradually, so your symptoms return more slowly, giving you more time to top off before things get too bad. You can kill off your NA and TTO at any time if you change your mind, but you might need antihelminthics to do so. That means TSO and HTC can be a great way of sampling helminthic therapy, getting your toes wet without going all in. You can try just one dose, giving yourself time to warm up to the idea before the commitment of beginning therapy with NA or TTO. There's also a theory that starting with non-human helminths helps the reintroduction of human helminths go more smoothly. It usually takes your immune system about 12 weeks to adjust to the presence of helminths and start seeing positive results. 
but some people see faster results from our non-human helmets, TSO and HDC. This is probably because the human helmets, NA and TTO, need time to mature before they can begin modulating your immune system. All of this information and more can be found on the wiki page, Selecting a Therapeutic Helmet, and I will see you guys in the next installment.